This is the um, decision making meeting for the executive member for land and property, regulatory services and licensing and contracting procurement and uh, social value. Uh, good morning to everybody. Just a few items on the agenda this morning. Um, the first item on the agenda is the monitoring report for this meeting and previous meetings. Um, Ian, do you want to say anything about this, uh, Mr Mulholland? Um, it, it's uh, as updated as it can be. There's a few people away um, yeah. for, for, for holidays, so it'll be uh, more updated really for the next meeting. But it's as updated as I could get it this time. So Yeah. All right. I've got a few things I need to say. Um, not too many. Um, OK, item 157 This is disability and safeguarding free training for the taxi trade. Now, the update is this will be a condition of licence, likely 31st October 2024, and it will be chargeable training. Same date, 31 October 2024. Um, as you can see, this, this has been going on for some time, this free training. And the charging at the moment looks like it'll be around £36. Now, we jump ahead then to the next update to 1010 2023. And this is community asset transfer completion at 52 Washacre, West Horton. And that's to say that the business plan is agreed. The heads of terms for the lease are in progress. Just to add that organisations don't have to occupy a building as soon as a lease is signed off, especially if organisations want to deal with fixtures, fittings and repairs. And also the council supports community asset transfer organisations in the first 12 months. And you'll be hearing more about um, what we call the procedure that we use for community asset transfer uh, going forward. The next one is the date 13 to 2024. Now, this should say the community centre at Presto Lee Kersley. Um, there's not as much to say here. I don't have details at the moment about organisations um, as relation to a lease, but we are we've got two meetings booked in now with the ward councillors and we'll look at any slippage as regards our services um and uh also any improvement monies for the building that are in the council will come up at that next two meetings with ward councillors um from memory ones uh probably next month actually it's just got into september and then october um and then the last two 12 3 2024 new uh, increased fines for littering, fly tipping, household waste, duty of care. We've got a six month review on that. I think that'll be September 2024. We're going to review the effectiveness. And then similar thing to say for pest control, rats and mice service for households. Again, that's going to have a six month review in September. And we're partner, partner working or certainly conversationally with Bolton at home and um, we will bring uh, any further updates um, to you about those two matters. So thanks very much um, for the report. And I want to ask if any officers on the call or any councillors want to speak to any items or raise anything at all. Good morning, Deirdre McGeehan. Hi, We've it, that was just me doing a bit of, of a verbal update um, okay. on some of the items of the monitoring report. And it'll it'll be taped anyway, you know, this meeting. So uh, Apologi I'm just apologising for the delay in, in, in joining, that's all. No problem. Um, uh, if you, you know, ra ra use the raise your hand feature. If, if not, just please just speak into the microphone and speak into the microphone if you think I've missed you for some reason. So, OK, we, we can move on to the next item. Uh, I'm grateful, want to introduce Graham Wilson, who is our uh, head finance officer at Bolton Council. And um, we've got two finance items now. And the first is the uh, Director of Corporate Resources Quarter One report. Uh, over to you, uh, Graham. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, so this report sets out the financial um, performance at quarter one of the year. Um, and obviously it is a report that covers um, 
the, the full directorate through which this um, this um, area sits within. So the the directorate is currently projected uh, for a full year underspend of around fifteen thousand pound, of which um, within there the property services have a overspend of um, around three hundred pounds. So you know we're not talking any substantial figures there you can see these figures in table three on page five the capital expenditure for the um the directorate is um seventy two thousand pound against a revised budget of um 7.2 million so again um what we tend to find with capital schemes is uh, the expenditure doesn't necessarily flow equally through the year so a quarter one you tend to see quite a, a small figure um of this um 72 000, um property expenditure was just under twenty three thousand pounds against a revised quarter one budget of 6.5 million so at this point in time uh, when the report was produced we're seeing very little actual spend versus budget but obviously that will um, develop as the year goes through um, the reserve balance in table five um, shows a 9.7 million um, of earmarked reserves at year end um, the portfolio's component of that is 3.7 million pound um, expected uh, reserves in table four we will see that the budget savings for 24-25 for the directorate are 2.1 million and all of these um, savings there has been a um, report produced for these savings and in terms of property there are no savings against this property portfolio um, the key financial findings um, in, in a little bit more detail can be seen in the appendices to the report um, you know so the the break down the actual figures in a little bit more detail around the uh, the areas where the expenditure happens um, the executive cabinet member is asked to note the contents of the report and to approve the recommendations in section 11 of this report um, and i'll just read through the uh, recommendations so you're asked to note the quarter one financial position approve revisions made to the capital program which fall under the portfolio authorize their director of corporate resources to call off under any available frameworks where the value of the works is less than four hundred thousand pound to enable the capital program to progress and to note the key findings of the report and i am happy to take any questions yeah thank you very much for that report and the readout much appreciated um i no, don't have any hands up at the moment um, and I, I myself, I sometimes clarify things, um, but I've done a good uh, read through of all of this. Um, and as, as you know, we do try to stick to questions that relate to uh, land and property uh, out of this um, whole corporate resources report. So um, you've read the um, you've read the approvals and the noting out for me. Uh, uh, Graham, grateful. So I'm happy to um, uh, note and also to uh, approve revisions uh, to the capital programme, as you've said, and the authorisation to the Director of Corporate Resources. So, yes, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. OK, thank you. OK, time to move on to um, the next uh, budget report, uh, please. I'll, I'll just be finding it as we... Um, and this is the... Um, Director of Place uh, Finance Report, and this is quarter one as well. It is, yes. Thank you very much. So the um, the report again is uh, performance at quarter one of the year. The directorate currently has a projected year-end overspend of £900,000. Um, within this uh, projected overspend, the portfolio for property has an overspend of £29,000. The capital expenditure for the directorate of place at quarter one was 7.4 million against a revised quarter one budget of 64.8 million, none of which uh, relates to this particular portfolio. The directorate of place has a projected balance of 2.23 million earmarked reserves for the year end, of which this portfolio has a projected reserve balance of 96,000 pound. The budgeted savings for 24-25 um, for the directorate place are £862,000, all of which have been approved at quarter one and no savings relate to this portfolio. 
The key financial uh, findings for the portfolio can once again be found in the appendices to the report where it gives a little bit more detail as to how the figures, uh, the headline figures are made up. Um, the executive member is asked to note the contents of this report and to approve the recommendations in section 12 of the report. And again, I'll, I'll just read them out quickly to, to, to clarify. So the um, executive cabinet member is recommended to note the quarter one financial position of the director in place approve revisions made to the capital program which fall under their portfolio authorize the director of place to call off any available for under any available frameworks where the value of works is less than 400,000 pounds to enable the capital enable the capital program to progress and to note the key findings of the report i'm happy to take any questions thank you very much graham um does anybody on the call have any questions about the finance uh no, I'm just going to say a couple of things. So I'm very grateful that we don't have to find savings um, actually in both of the budgets for the first budget you heard about was um, was property, corporate property services that I'm the ECM for. Also here, we don't have a savings um, achievement for the regulatory services and licensing and the, the work is very busy and um, and that's good that we, we kept uh, money for all that work. Um, OK, uh, the, the only other thing I would say is that on this paper, uh, as a pattern since the beginning of the year, don't have any capital for regulatory services and finance. So my the recommendations, I mainly have to uh, note the quarter one financial position and note the key findings of this report. And I, I don't have to give any approval or authorization for the capital program myself okay. but the it, the other ecms get busy with that when when this is on their um on their meetings yeah. so oh, sorry about i think that was my error there oh no no it's fine uh, it, it, it it's fine uh, no problem we we just do our best it's not i mean i think i think it, it's it's worked out now i think at most meetings where members who come do tend to stick to their the item that's on on the agenda i think it's working well actually and it's it, it's well set out and i'm i'm grateful that uh, janet pollard and, and you, your team you know try and bracket um it's easier i think for people to focus when they put a bracket around or she highlights doesn't she she bolds when it's um regulatory services and property on on the separate uh budget documents so um i'm pretty sure we're, we're at the end of the meeting so Thank you very much indeed, everybody, for attending this meeting today. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just stop the recording. Just one moment. Sure.